Chris Harrison promises that Claire's season will be the most explosive season ever, and ABC just released brand new photos from the first episode. Hey guys, welcome back to another Shared News from Home. Today, we're reacting to all the newly released photos from Claire's season of The Bachelorette. But before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, and I'm joined by the wonderful Avery Groups. Hey guys. Okay, Avery, we are now just two weeks away from the Tuesday. Remember guys, no more Bachelor Mondays. Tuesday, October 13th premiere. And we finally have a ton of photos of all the guys, the limo entrances, and honestly, maybe some of the early drama. Let's take a look at these photos and try to figure out what might be going down. Okay, Avery, so this is our first photo. Obviously, this is just a gorgeous solo shot of Claire, but she looks so happy and excited. I am obsessed with her dress. What are your thoughts? What do you think was going through her head in this moment? She looks so excited. Her smile is literally from ear to ear. Um, she looks ready though, like super eager, like to see who's gonna walk out of the first limo. Um, and I, I love the dress as well too. That's a really, um, I like that color. What color is that? It looks like it's like a whole sort of like metallic -y gray, maybe a little taupe situation. Yeah. She always kills it with her style. I feel like she looks so classic and beautiful always. And I love that she keeps the hair and makeup like very simple, very true to herself. Mm -hmm. She's so confident. I think that's like the biggest thing is every time I see her, she's just exuding confidence. And this is obviously no different. Yes. All right, let's see what we've got next. Okay, so this is, this looks like a prom photo. I cannot. I was just going to say that. <laughs> obviously, Claire and Chris from the same night. I don't, I mean, they look amazing together. I don't even know what to say. I feel like they both look like they're on cloud nine. Yes, they're like, here we go again, but they're ready. Yes, I mean, honestly, Chris has obviously known Claire for such a long time and has seen her go through similar processes before. He's seen her get her heart broken. So I feel like he's such a cheerleader for everyone in Bachelor Nation. Like he genuinely was probably as excited as she was to get this process started. Yes, for sure. I feel like Chris is almost like the mascot for Bachelor Nation because he's always <laughs> hyping everything up. He's just like the face of the show. I love him. But yeah, they look super excited um, and we'll see what's in store. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I mean, truly, this has been such a long time coming because production was delayed and I think you're so right. He really is the cheerleader, the face of Bachelor Nation. So <laughs> gotta love a Chris moment. Let's, let's move on though. These, this is obviously the night of the limo entrances. We do have some looks at the limo entrances. And I mean, hello, <laughs> this first one, they look wild. What, what is going on here? Is this some sort of what like is hammer game? I don't know. He, that, oh my, so that the new guy brought that as his like prop. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So um, I guess. Okay. It's one of those things where you, I don't know what it's called, but you just see how far it goes up. I don't even know what it's called. I don't either. It's clearly some sort of a carnival, a carnival game. game. It's a carnival game that clearly like tests your strength of some kind. I don't know, maybe this was this guy's subtle way of showing Claire, like this is my hidden talent. I'm super strong subtle with the hammer. <laughs> yes, yes, this is so very subtle. different, very unique. Um, he definitely had to pull some strings to get this out there, but props to him. I, I'm here for it. Let's see. Oh, oh wow. 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 Okay. So the carnival game worked. We've got a kid to win here. It sure did. <laughs> Wow. Okay. First thing I'm noticing now that we've gotten this kiss moment, aside from the kiss, is that he's doing the whole like kind of cropped pants, no socks thing, which I kind of oh, like. Yes. Like he's stylish. It. He's stylish. He's creative. He isn't yes. perhaps the man we know she rides off into the sunset with, but I'm excited to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's very fashion forward. And I noticed she's also wearing um, like flip flops instead of heels. 
she's been here before and knows like I probably shouldn't wear heels night one. So I think that was smart. Comfort is key. Okay, let's see what Always. else you've got going on on Lemon Night. Okay, you guys, next up, this is Mr. Bennett. And as you can see, he rolled up in some very high class style in this white Rolls Royce with the matching scarf to boot. What are your thoughts of Bennett Avery? Just off of this Bennett alone. Bennett is very <laughs> fancy. Um, he's also rocking the no socks with shoes, which I love. And then the scarf cool. complements his Rolls Royce. Super cute, super chic. Um, he looks really excited. He looks confident. I mean, I'll definitely yeah. say that. He he's, looks like he's thrilled to be there. I feel like this, this is a funny, it's like a funny, prop to use for an end like it's not exactly a great indicator of his personality but let's just say he's a man of luxury and he yes. wanted to lead with that nothing nothing wrong with that <laughs> nothing wrong with that all right so next up we've got blake who looks so cute so excited i feel like you can also you can barely see claire's face but she looks so excited here as well she looks excited. I mean, nothing flashy or exciting going on but this looks like a truly sweet moment Mm -hmm. He looks really cute too and sweet. Totally. Watch you can him just be tell. like the villain. <laughs> <laughs> like a picture's worth a thousand words. We're just gonna yeah. fill them in however we want. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see who else we've got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next up, we have another creative, shall we say, <laughs> contestant. This is. <laughs> Jason, and we haven't really caught um, a good look at what's going on under there, but he, he is in a full suit of armor. So Avery, I, I'm dying to know your thoughts. What a bold move he's made here. Well, he's the knight in shining armor. He came to save her from the rest of the guys. Hopefully, maybe he said something like that. I don't know, but um, <laughs> bold move. I wonder if you can see his face under there, what she's like looking at, but um, nice costume. I wonder where he got it. It looks pretty legit. Oh. Oh, well, okay. So here he Surprise. is. Wow. <laughs> okay, here he is, sans armor. And I don't know, he looks pretty handsome. He does kind of look like a prince, like a knight. <laughs> he does. A prince or a knight, whatever. You gotta be um, hot I under there. I feel like, oh my God, yeah, it must have been so stuffy. I feel like this is one of those like, how do you forget the guy who showed up in armor, right? Like if he had like a funny line or like a good move to pair with this, like how do you forget the guy? Look at how many pieces then, are on the ground. My I goodness. know, she's just standing there watching him take it all off. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, I'm definitely excited for this one. Let's see if anyone could top this. Oh boy, this is oh, okay. We know who this is. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, so we obviously all know who this is. This is Dale. This is their first meeting. They may or may not have rode off into the sunset together and be starting their new lives as a happy couple. So I don't know, Avery, there's a lot of pressure on this one. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on this moment. This is the man, the myth, the legend. Um, I see here props, but I don't think he needs them. Um, I wish we could see her face. I know, I know. I totally, I think it is interesting. Like as far as we can tell, he just showed up, introduced himself, went for the simple approach, no armor, <laughs> no rolls. <laughs> But I, I think, I mean, you can tell at least on his face, there seems to be an early connection. I don't know, it's hard for me to even comment on this one because I feel like we know too much already. I know. The subtle hand grabs, like, me, I'm excited. <laughs> Same, I am so thrilled. All right, moving on from Dale because we could truly talk about them for way too long. There's too much to unpack there. Let's talk about this lovely fellow in a pink suit. His name is Easy. I think this is fun. I am all here for like a subtle, well, not so subtle, pop of color <laughs> to make an entrance. What do you think? No, I totally agree. Like instead of doing cost, wear like something different, like a swaggy suit in pink, the color of love. Like I love what he did here. He looks super fun. Same. 
I, I totally love that. The color of love. I hope that's how he introduced himself. Claire, I'm here and I'm in the color of love. <laughs> All right, you guys, here is another one. We've got Jason. He looks like he might be up to something. I feel like he's got a little bit of like a scheming look on his face. Like he, he's he got a he's got a punchline to get to. What do you think? No, he definitely looks up to something and he looks like he's got a little something not under his sleeve, but under his shirt to be funny. I don't know the context of this, but looks like another jokester. I wish we could see Claire's faces in some of these. The guys all look great though. Honestly, I'm very impressed so far. With all of the casting woes and the ups and downs, it looks like she ended up with a really great group of guys. I agree. All right, and next up we have Jay, who is clearly up to something. I, is that a straight jacket? I don't know what's going on, but Claire seems to be laughing. Seems like he he did something funny here. Yeah, I wonder, cause it looks like there's like a lock next to the belt or whatever that is. So I don't, I'm not sure what he has going on there, but it looks like another clever idea. You know what? He could be <laughs> some sort of like escape artist or magician or stunt man. Who knows? He's clearly bringing cool. something to the table. Totally. <laughs> we love a fun job on The Bachelor. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so this is Joe, and I mean, hello, it clearly looks like he's either a doctor or he's doing some sort of line with a doctor punchline. He he looks great. I love a simple prop. What are your thoughts, Avery? Love a simple prop, especially if he's like, you said, a doctor or a nurse. And I like the bow tie too. I feel like we've only seen ties so far. I love a good bow tie. Totally love a good creative moment. Honestly, I feel like night one, it's all about having something, something mm -hmm. that makes you memorable. Some, it's gotta be so hard meeting that many people. Okay, this is Jordan. They look like they are really connecting <laughs> over something. Hand to the heart, eye Hand contact. To the heart. <laughs> Super tall, Very sweet. wow. Very tall, good point. He might be the tallest guy we've seen so far. I think so, yeah. Okay, so this <laughs> is Kenny, and clearly whatever is happening on his shirt is hilarious. I am so <laughs> curious. He looks great. Even with the suit and the t-shirt, he still looks like really awesome. So he, he seems I was like a fun say. guy. Yeah, kind of casual, something funny. And he did a black suit. I feel like we've seen a lot of like navy suits. Um, yeah. But yeah, it looks super fun. Totally love it. I love that he was able to crack her up without even knowing her. Oh my goodness. So this is some sort of mysterious mastermind in the, you can see sort of in the middle of the ball there. We don't know who they are. But this might, I don't know, this or the carnival game, this might be the most dramatic prop we've How do seen. people come up with this stuff? Like, what is he, is this like a life-size bowling pin and, and he's in there? I don't know, but I'm jealous and <laughs> I would love to play life-size bowling. What, I mean, Claire looks like she's having a blast. Just look at her barefoot yeah, trying to so roll the ball. Aww. Hilarious. I mean, there's it's, clearly this is memorable. There's there's no yeah, two ways about that. Very memorable. You're gonna remember the guy you rolled around in a bowling ball. Okay, so this is Tyler C. Another Tyler C. You guys, and uh, he also opted to use a car for his entry. Seems like there's something going on strapped to the top of the car as well. Yeah, yes. maybe like a, this guy likes the beach, likes to adventure kind of vibe. I don't yeah, know. Adventure what do you vibes think? for sure. Big adventure guy, maybe um, likes to camp. Um, all black. I love that. I wonder totally. if it's like this is like a mini little date thing since they're sitting down in the back of his car. I don't really know the format, um, but he looks he looks down to earth. Totally. And speaking of not knowing the format, I mean, honestly, this is a great time, I feel like, to point out limo entrances may be done a little bit differently this time around because yeah. they've, they've teased the changes, you know, to adapt to the new location, the crazy times we're living in, like we're lined up. So honestly, limo night may be a whole new experience. 
So this is Yosef, and you guys, if I remember correctly, Reality Steve has already flagged him as perhaps being a bit of drama. Do you see drama when you look at him, Avery? <laughs> well, I don't know if I think it looks like he brought some food and like that's a winner in my book. You show up with food already, <laughs> like you get the first impression, Rose. That's the key to my heart. I don't know about Claire, but it looks like Oreos, maybe? <laughs> something, something chocolate. I mean, he looks, listen, based on this photo, he looks like he's there for the right reasons. Perhaps when we start watching Claire's journey, we will rebrand him as a troublemaker. But for now, I feel like let's just keep everyone with a pretty clean slate. We'll, we'll obviously make our judgments later. Oh yes. All right, so this is Zach and Zach came in real hot. He is down on one knee, proposing or pledging or doing something. Uh, he's very, ready already. Very <laughs> My I know, goodness, I wonder, I'm like, is it a real wedding ring, I wonder, or if it's like a ring pop, that'd be kind of funny. Um, or watch it be something serious, like this was my grandma's ring and I'm gonna save it to the end of the show. Like, you know how people make, like bring sentimental things in? <laughs> oh my God, these kinds of moments stress me out. Anything too serious upon first meeting, I'm like, come on, that's just yeah. not real. You don't even know her. But she looks into it. He's got a great smile. I hope it's something funny. I really do. I hope he's got a good line. I hope so too. It looks like it was something funny. They both are smiling like their smiles are huge. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So that is everything we have from the limo entrance portion of the evening. But they did release some other shots throughout the night. So this is one of Claire looking very shocked by something on a piece of paper. And you guys, this again is Blake. So Blake is hitting her with some sort of a surprise. What do you think that could be, Avery? A note, a business card? Who knows? It looks like a no. I see like four lines. Like it looks like it's a no. I don't know. She looks shocked though. So what does it say? We don't know, but I think he's so cute. He's definitely cute. I'm so curious <laughs> now. He's definitely cute. I wonder what he could do on such a small piece of paper to be so shocking, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, this one here, you guys, is obviously all of the boys. You can spot Dale right there on the couch. We've got all, a lot of good looking guys and some great suits. They look like a fun group, Avery. What do you think? I feel like this is a better looking group. Like you said, like, it's been very consistent. I feel like sometimes on night one, as they're coming out of the limo, it's kind of like, oof, like, but it looks like a <laughs> solid group of guys. Like she got dealt a good hand. She really did. Okay, as we're looking through here, there are a couple more guys that opted for the colored suit route. We've got an emerald suit, a couple of maroons. Love that. Lots of blue suits. They look like a handsome bunch. These photos, I'm sorry, they always crack me up. They always look like the strangest, like, class picture ever. Hilarious. I know, and everyone has the same pose. <laughs> <laughs> Even Claire. Yeah. <gasps> Okay, so this looks like we've got Claire maybe welcoming everyone, telling them we're gonna get the evening started, giving her a little spiel. I am just, honestly, this, this photo makes me so excited to watch the first episode, truly, truly. Me too, I cannot wait. Okay, and here we have another, looks like they're in the heat of the cocktail party, breaking into smaller groups and our, our straight jacket magician escape artist man is is still wearing his contraption so he's sticking with that okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, it man. looks like one of those moments like everyone's trying to see who's going to be next to talk to the, her kind of waiting oh can i cut in totally <laughs> can I steal you for a sec? Yes. Totally. I can I steal you for a sec moment? Okay, now we have, wow, you guys, if they end up together, they really should just get this framed. This is Claire and Dale clearly connecting, looking longingly into each other's eyes. I mean, could, does this look like two people who could fall in love in 12 days to you, Avery? <laughs> Absolutely. Like, she is radiating the excitement on both of their faces, just the posture, like 
the way the body I don't language. know. They just look super about each other already and almost like they've known each other for a while. Um, but definitely looks like someone that she has maybe or will fall in love with in 12 days. Yeah, so it okay. was 12 days, just 12 days. This is day one of what is perhaps being reported to be just their very short 12 day love story. But I mean, the body language alone, they're clearly, there's clearly an instant connection here. All a dog. Oh boy. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> this is another one of those big group party shots before things really seem to break down into smaller groups. And honestly, I mean, how can we talk about anything other than the golden retriever on the ground or some sort of fluffy, adorable, beautiful dog on the ground? <laughs> I know. I wonder who brought a dog. Well, we know. I ever... know Claire. So Claire is a dog mom, and I feel like there were some like uh, behind the scenes paparazzi shots of her dogs on set. So I'm gonna guess that that's one of Claire's uh, dogs. But I don't know if this has ever been done before. Is, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't, don't think it has, a... but that's awesome. I mean, uh, truly, if they can't get along with her dogs, then it's probably not gonna work out long term. So it seems like a pretty yeah. good screening method to me, especially since they're all also not traveling this season like they'll just be in the same place so it's easy to like bring your dog along totally okay so this is our last photo we're gonna look at this is yosef and tyler c and claire and you know we mentioned earlier yosef may or may not be a troublemaker and avery <laughs> i have to say this photo's got a different vibe than the rest i don't know she looks like she's perhaps setting some setting some ground rules with these two. Yeah, it definitely looks like something's going on here. Um, kind of understanding maybe how he could be like the troublesome guy now. She kind of looks panicked, but I don't know. It's a candid shot. Interesting. It, it definitely looks a little more intense. So, I mean, obviously the trailers, the teasers, they've already been <laughs> peppering in drama early on because what would The Bachelorette be without some drama? At this point, Avery, I mean, I know we're both excited. What are you most excited about for this crazy season we've been promised? Well, just, we've talked about how Chris said how Claire blew up the whole Bachelor. I'm most excited to see like what the actual transition of Taysha coming on the show, when that happens and just to see their ending and then her ending. I'm just, I wanna see what makes this season so different. Cause I know we, as we know, it's already going to be so different, but they've really set the bar high on like amping this up to be so different, the most dramatic season ever for reals this time. So I'm just waiting for the drama and all the different guys and just to see the different format of the entire show and how all of that plays out. Oh my God, me too. I honestly cannot wait to see what decision she makes or what boundaries she sets, you know, what it is that really makes it so that huge unprecedented changes come to the series. I am such mm -hmm. a fan of Claire's. I love that she is no nonsense. She's sure of herself. She's confident. And whatever happens in that 12 day window of her journey, I cannot wait to see. And I mean, I know they haven't said it, but we're saying it. All of us know Tasha's coming in and I am so, so excited to see her have another journey with finding love. Because, I mean, they're both incredible women, and I think we truly are in for all of the hype Chris Harrison is throwing on this season. I believe him. I'm ready for it. I believe I everything. Too. <laughs> and I also think that's another reason this season will be so interesting is because Claire is very to the point, and she knows what she wants, and I think Tasha is kind of like that as well. So they're not going to mess around. Like, if there's something they don't like, they're going to be vocal about it and get straight to the point because... As we know, she's super serious, came there for one thing and perhaps got it. Um, and I think Tasha is kind of has the same mindset as well. Totally. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. Well, the countdown is on. We're so close. It's right around the corner. Time is going to fly by. This is everything we have to share with you for now. But we, of course, want to know all your thoughts. Are you excited for the premiere of Claire season? Do you buy into Chris Harrison's It will be the most explosive season ever? Let us know down in the comments what you guys are thinking. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell because we will be back covering 
pretty much every single moment of this wild ride of a season will all be covered right here. <laughs> As always, I am your host, Fiona Zaring. You can follow me on socials at Fiona Zaring. And Avery, where can they find you? You can follow me at Avery Grooms. Awesome. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.